The following news will shock you unlike anything you've ever experienced. Imagine being instructed not to compete as a world champion. That's certainly not everyday news. Lewis Hamilton is one of the driver's friends tossed advice to stay at home after complaining about porpoising problems. According to the Alpha Tauri chairman, if driving an F1 vehicle was too difficult for them, they should watch the races on television. Many people anticipated that the sport's most successful driver would return with a fury in 2022 after being denied a record-tying 8th World Championship victory in very contentious circumstances in the final race of 2021. However, would he be able to do that? Let's find out. In the team principal press conference, Toss said, These are Formula One cars, not a Rolls Royce. Drivers should be aware of this. If the cars are too stiff or difficult for them, they might stay at home in the living room, sitting in the chair, and then they can do the races on TV or where, I don't know. His remarks follow Hamilton's ongoing concerns about back problems he had at the Grand Prix of Azerbaijan. Several other drivers, including George Russell and Daniel Ricciardo, have voiced their worries about the bouncing they encountered in Baku. Pierre Gasly, Toss driver, has also acknowledged using opioids due to the problems. The AlphaTauri CEO argued that drivers should take greater responsibility for their injuries by increasing their preparation before competitions. He asserts that the pain he had in the automobile was nothing new. He suggests doing more neck-strengthening exercises. On the one hand, I can appreciate that it's not that simple for them, he said. However, this vehicle is a Formula One vehicle. I remember back when the wing cars were out there. A driver came to me on a Sunday evening and said, Tomorrow I have to go to the dentist because I lose my fillings in the bend because the cars are so hard to drive. It's nothing new. First of all, the drivers must do more training for the neck muscles and the gluteus maximus. Then this helps for sure. Before the Canadian Grand Prix, the FIA issued a new technical directive to address the problem. To prevent teams from running their vehicles too low to the ground, the regulation cautions that the FIA will monitor an acceptable rate of oscillations. Additionally, they have pledged to meet with teams to discuss potential mid-term fixes for the problems. On Friday, Hamilton supported the FIA's strategy, but Tost seemed to doubt the efficacy of the new rules. He said, How much this can be controlled, I don't know yet. But at Scuderia Alpha Tauri, we support the FIA. We will give them the data, and then we will see what could be the result. The seven-time world champion had a much more upbeat Saturday in Montreal as he emerged from a rainy qualifying session with a season-best grid position after saying on team radio that his vehicle felt undrivable and subsequently labeled it as a disaster. Hamilton said his crew put in a lot of work the night before final practice and qualifying to position themselves better after Mercedes used two completely different set of approaches on Friday to gather data. The rain complicated the qualifying session, and the circuit Gilles Villeneuve proved that experience mattered with Fernando Alonso's second-place finish and Hamilton's performance. Honestly, I feel amazing. I'm so, so happy. P4 has never felt so good. Hamilton told Sky Sports. Maybe it did when I was in my first year here in 2007, got my first P4 in qualifying. It felt great then. It feels like that, particularly because it's been a difficult year. To go through what we were faced with today, it was difficult for everyone out there. And I'm so happy to have us there and put us in a position, he continued. Despite out-qualifying teammate George Russell for the first time in four races and posting his greatest qualifying effort of the season, Hamilton is aware that Mercedes' problems are still very much there. With this car, you need everything and more to come together. I like to think that I have rhythm at this track, particularly in a session like that. You need to have rhythm. I feel like this car works on a completely different beat. It doesn't work on the normal beat. That's been difficult to get used to. It's all the hard work from everyone that helped. The rain makes it much different. If it was dry, I don't know whether we'd be in that position. The rain always opens up opportunities. I love this track. He concluded by saying, It's been a struggle this weekend and there's still a lot of work to do tomorrow, but I hope the team is feeling positive. I believe in them so much. I hope we can stop this bouncing at some stage and move forward. After preseason testing, Lewis Hamilton was the 13-8 favorite to win this year's Drivers' World Championship. Mercedes' chances of competing for either of this year's crowns became extremely bleak. Hamilton could not catch up to the Red Bulls and Ferraris at the beginning of the season because of the W13's constant porpoising issue, which caused excruciating discomfort for him. Hamilton was open about his team's chances of competing for the win in the Bahrain Grand Prix. He maintained fifth place until Verstappen dropped out of the race from second. 
then moved up when Perez's Red Bull overtook Russell on the penultimate lap to claim an unexpected podium position. After that, Hamilton successfully started the Saudi Arabian Grand Prix weekend as he finished each of the three practice sessions faster than teammate Russell. The return to Albert Park seemed more pleasant for Hamilton after he ran decent laps during practice. He clinched fifth on the grid in qualifying on his penultimate effort to nip Russell by little over a tenth to line up behind Lando Norris's McLaren. Hamilton had to deal with a Mercedes that was overheating. He eventually finished fourth. Imola was the most challenging weekend of the season thus far for Hamilton. He was eliminated with Russell in Q2 as rain poured during a red flag for Carlos Sainz Jr.'s collision at Rivazza. He was slower than Russell in Friday practice. Russell's performance contrasted sharply with Hamilton's, who advanced from starting position 11 to finish fourth after fending off Valtteri Bottas. Hamilton would later apologize to the Mercedes crew for his performance throughout the weekend. Hamilton had a difficult weekend in Miami where he finished behind Russell for the fourth straight race as his teammate once again profited from the timing of the safety car. Russell moved up to fifth place overtaking Hamilton, but the FIA ordered Mercedes to revert their places since Russell was thought to have violated track limitations. It didn't last long though as Russell safely passed Hamilton on the following lap and guided his teammate to the finish line. With the delivery of the team's first significant improvement package of the season, the Spanish Grand Prix may have been a turning moment for both Hamilton and Mercedes. Unfortunately, a water leak in the final circuits forced Hamilton to slow down relative to his prior speed by as much as 8 seconds per lap, which cost him fifth place in the finish to Sainz. Monaco served as a sobering reality check for Hamilton and Mercedes after the hope in Spain. Hamilton battled greatly in Monaco all weekend because of the W13 bouncing brutally over the numerous Monte Carlo bumps due to its strong suspension settings, despite appearing to have overcome his porpoising issues with his Barcelona improvements. After that, Hamilton had a difficult afternoon. He finally lost ground to Alonso and spent the last few laps of the race chasing Ocon in his rearview mirror. He ultimately crossed the finish line in eighth place, three positions behind his teammate. After finishing on the podium, Hamilton was ecstatic. In contrast to his depressing demeanor in Spain and Azerbaijan, he was chattier and more animated over the team radio during the race. Although this performance wasn't convincing, Hamilton and Mercedes still have a lot to work on. The world wants the F1 great to pull off a major coup, even if he claimed a podium position in the just-concluded Canadian Grand Prix. Although many people believe Hamilton will pull a surprise in the forthcoming Grand Prix, how certain is this? What do you think will happen at the next Grand Prix? Will he even be a part of it? Comment below.